In this section we show how to express limits and colimits as con extensions. Recall that 1, we use the asterisk symbol to denote the terminal category with one object and one morphism, and the unique functor from a category i to the terminal category by a shriek symbol with subscript i. And 2, given an a object a, the constant functor from i to a is a functor delta a, which takes every object in i to a, and every morphism to the identity on a. The assignment of an object to its constant functor then extends in the obvious way to the i-diagonal functor, delta, from the category a to the functor category of natural transformations of functors from i to a. And three, given a diagram d in a category a, the category of cones on d is defined as the category delta over d. Then there is a direct translation between the cones as compatible sources, as depicted on the left, and the commuting diagrams of natural transformations on the right. Then recall that the limit cone of D is a terminal object in the category of cones on D. And dually, the category of co-cones on D is defined to be the category of D over delta, with the co-limit cone of D as the initial object in the category of co-cones on D. We can now prove limits and co-limits are certain con extensions. Let D be a diagram. The limit of D is the right con extension of D along shriek I, when either and hence both exist, and the co-limit of D is the left con extension of D along shriek I, when either and hence both exist. To prove the limit case, observe the precomposition functor of shriek I is equal to the I diagonal functor delta from the category A to the functor category I to A. Then since terminal objects are essentially unique, we see that the terminal object in shriek i star over d, which is equal to delta over d, by definition is the right con extension of d along shriek i, which then must also be the limit cone of d. Then for the co-limit case, since initial objects are essentially unique, the initial object in d over shriek i star, which is equal to d over delta, is the left con extension of d along shriek i which must also be then the co-limit co-cone of D. Then as a corollary, we obtain that if A has all I-shaped limits and co-limits, then the joint situations co-limit I is left adjoint to delta, which is left adjoint to limit I as functors. And this follows from the result that the left con extension along shriek I is left adjoint to shriek I upper star, which is left adjoint to the right con extension along shriek i as functors.